of Label 5 and Glen's Marine Whiskey with Ian Allen, who is the brand ambassador for Label 5 and Glen Murray. Uh, Ian's going to talk a little bit about a brand new product that's hitting our shelves very soon, the Label 5 Gold Heritage. How does this fit into uh, the Label 5 family? I mean, Gold Heritage takes uh, the kind of feeling and the, the character of the typical Label 5s that we have and it adds higher malt content into the equation, uh, which just gives this whisky a real luxurious, much richer character. Um, which is just a fantastic addition to the new, to the label five range. It's got that really nice, light, fresh, fruity yes. nose. Um, Lovely and smooth. Yeah, very fresh. Yeah, taking a lot of its malts from the Glen Murray Distillery, um, which gives it that kind of fresh, smooth, creamy, vanilla characteristic. Um, using some very old single malts as well within the equation just gives the whiskey a real elegance. A um, little bit of peatiness to it, not overpowering, just giving an extra dimension and layer to the character of this whiskey, which all in all adds up to creating a fantastic new whiskey that we have. And uh, we're looking at the Glen Ray Elgin Classic, um, a store on the shelves of BWS, and a hugely popular single malt. Um, you're saying this is a great introduction almost to, to single malt. Yeah, the Classic, with its lightness and character, um, creates this wonderful bridge between a blend and a single malt just to bring people into the category. Um, even if you're just a, a solid malt drinker, it's just a wonderful, fresh single malt. It's a great summer drink, wonderful aperitif whiskey. Just lightness and flavour, real citrus, fruity, uh, just a hint of vanilla, but no, no heavy spice or there's no smokiness to the classic. Uh, just making a whiskey which appeals to pretty much every whiskey drinker out there, I'd say. Indeed it does. And one of the things you were talking about, this has never had an age statement, it's never been 10 years or 12 years, but a lot of our customers are now asking us about the new range of whiskies that are coming out that don't have the 10 year old or the 12 year old on the bottle. What are the benefits to both the distiller and also to the consumer of these non-aged whiskies? With for for us at Glen Murray, non-aging is a new new expression. It's not replacing or adding to it. It's, it's just it's one we've always had. It's been one of our most popular whiskies. The real benefit to a non-aged whisky is that it allows the the, the blender, the master blender, um, a degree of control over the character of that spirit. He's not confined by a number. He doesn't have to just select stock which are at a certain age or over an age. And so it gives this consistency of quality to the character of the product from bottle to bottle. So I think we can really assure our customers that quality is, is as good if not better on these non-age whiskies. Um, and they really should get out and try them and find what their flavour is over Christmas. Ian, thank you very much. Right. We're up all night to get some. We're up all night for good fun. We're up all night to get lucky. We're up all night to get lucky. We're up all night to get lucky.